Tetris. Check my cheese styles. I think I'm gonna wear this to the club next week. Now, meat and potatoes meal is an everyday meal for many people, including my father-in-law, who's a super picky eater. And sauces come from all over the world, but I'm gonna get rid of that brown sauce and replace it with an oozy, melty, cheesy sauce. And I love a good hunk of cheddar like the next man, but my obedient ingredient, camembert, is gonna really take it home. Time for a taste. Plump, if it starts to crack, you gotta get a new piece of camembert. Camembert is different from brie, generally because of the size of the wheel. I don't feel quite as guilty eating a whole wheel of camembert as I would a whole wheel of brie. Oven from the oven, I know it's gonna be good. I'll take two of them. So, I grew up in Western Canada, and it's all about meat, potatoes, and sometimes about cheese. So, I'm gonna show you how to make a very simple dinner featuring this right here. This is a roast beef, it's an eye of round, and I'm gonna smash some potatoes to go along with my meat and potatoes. Mm. Wow. I love cheese, but my daughter is a freak for cheese. I'm gonna show you an impression of my daughter asking for cheese. Cheese! Cheese! She's a freak for cheese. You ask her anything she wants, all she wants is more cheese. Anyways, my oven's preheated 350 degrees. To get my roast into the oven. Now, when you're cooking anything in the oven, you don't want to be opening and closing the oven because then you just lose all that nice warmth that you've built up. So don't mess with it. Leave it, let it go, turn on the light, and look through the window. Meantime, I get to play with this beautiful eight ounces of camembert. Let me show you what I'm going to do. Get a hearty tray, and I want to line it with parchment paper. You want it to definitely come up because it's gonna run a little bit, and that'll allow it to not stick and burn to the base of my dish. It also makes cleanup that much easier, All right? So, I just wanna cut this in half, do a little rolly technique. Oh. Makes it a little easier to cut. Set this aside. I'm gonna show you how to make an oil and herb paste that's gonna dress and drizzle all that stuff up, okay? Any chance I get to use my mortar and pestle means a good day for me. A little bit of fresh marjoram, fresh thyme, and a couple sprigs of fresh rosemary. Start with a little bit of abrasion in the base, and that's gonna be salt. And it's also gonna season this herb paste. Get my rosemary in there. Just go against the grain of the rosemary like that. Same thing with my thyme. Go against the grain. All of these herb stalks are amazing for soup stalks, sauce reductions, all that stuff. That's something we definitely do in the restaurants. The marjoram adds a beautiful sweetness. The thyme is earthy, as well as the rosemary, okay? So pick that up. Now, I'm gonna start by bashing this away just to get it going, okay? I can really feel the salt breaking down the fibers of these herbs. It's also releasing the natural oils. Oh, the aroma is incredible. Okay, put a little bit of olive oil. I don't wanna to put too much at this stage. I just wanna start the paste going. Then I'll top it off after. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Now this is herb oil, right? So I need a little bit more oil. I just finish grinding away. all the goodies from up on the side, back down into the well. You see 
see how that's totally pureed. So smooth. Wow. Always the simplest things are best, you know? I'm gonna put some pepper on the inside. You know, I wanna get that texture of that cracked pepper. So little nubs like that is okay. I'm gonna take about half a tablespoon of this at this time. Spread it in there. Oh, look at the colors on that. That is crazy. I used to work with this French chef in a hotel once, and he would take this whole piece of cheese, smear it inside a half a French baguette, and that would be his lunch. That's the only thing I'd see him eat all day long. And top that off. Somewhere on top. Mmm. I love the colors of the green against the white camembert. It's a very refined cheese, and it can hold up to taking the robustness of the herbs. Now, you may have seen baked brie or camembert before with jam inside, wrapped up inside a phyllo and baked so it's crunchy, crispy, and it's laid out at a party, and you eat it with crostini and stuff like that. But this is a savory preparation playing off of that idea. I want to get this into my fridge to allow it to set up. And next, I'm gonna show you how to do something nice with the ricer. <laughs> my grandfather headed west coming from China looking for gold. I found the perfect Yukon gold to make a monster man. Looks pretty good. My camembert is softening, the herbs are melting and mingling, and it's gonna be this beautiful sauce in about four minutes. I'm gonna say three minutes, because number four is unlucky. So it gives me time to start plating, but remember I promised you the tenting? This is called tenting. Now I wanna make sure I have my meat resting so all the juices redistribute to the center, but I don't want it to go cold while that's happening, and I don't want to lose a little bit of that crust that formed by roasting it properly. So, in about 10 to 15 minutes will be perfect to prevent all the juice from running out of my meat. My favorite part, I get to eat. Start with my potatoes. Let's get that a taste. Bang on. Just gonna make a neat little mound into the center. Ah! So I'm just gonna get a little bit of this end here. Mmm. That meat is perfectly cooked. The balsamic's concentrated. So tender, still warm. Four slices, bad number. Oh, perfectly cooked. Let's check that out. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Mm. You see that meat? It's perfectly cooked, and there's no juices running all over the board. That's the tenting and the resting. These mushrooms smell crazy. I like to eat with my hands. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. It's hot, but very, very tasty. That's gonna go perfect with my beef and my potatoes. Oh my gosh, that's insane. That looks pretty good to me. I need some music to go with this. I got my cheese. My daughter's freaking out for cheese. The cheese is melted, bubbling. I promised you a meat and potatoes meal with a sauce that's even better than gravy, and I've delivered with my melted camembert and herbs. <laughs>